Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Annyeonghaseyo, Yorabut. I'm back from Seoul and I know this is like the end time I'm going to Seoul. It has officially become my favorite, favorite, favorite city to go. I really think like it's one place that I can never get tired of. So this time, I actually bought quite a lot of new things, like things that I wouldn't usually buy. When people go to Seoul, people always think like makeup and skincare. Of course, makeup and skincare. That's like the baseline that you should actually go and check out because they've got a lot of really, really good makeup and skincare brands that are much cheaper there in Seoul. If you're like me, if you're on a trip that you're not hunting for makeup and skincare because you've got too many already, then keep on watching. I've got a whole bunch of things over here. I went to Seoul three times this month. Two times for work and one time with Matt. Uh, we were there on a holiday, so here are the things I bought across these three trips. The first one I got is this Make Prem Low Irritant Mineral Sun Milk for Soothing Care. I was on the lookout for a sunscreen because it was so hot in Korea, like when I was there. So I ran out of my sunscreen and I didn't have enough on my body. I decided to walk into Olive Young and I was like looking around. They've got a ton of sunscreen brands. So I wanted to try something that I've never tried before. And and it's this brand called Prem. For people with sensitive skin, this is definitely quite a good one. This one is Calamine Sun Milk. So it is a physical sunscreen and you're gonna get that white cast. But I honestly didn't mind because I was getting so tan and I really needed something to whiten and brighten my skin and make it look nicer in pictures. <laughs> so this was pretty good. I got it at quite a good price also, like 25,000 for 150 ml. And it came with like a like facial foam free gift. So I highly recommend this if you are in Olive Young. Another skincare product that I did not like at all and I totally regretted it was this COSRX Hydrogel Very Simple Pack. This one I saw and I was like, ooh, very intrigued because it looks quite nice. It comes in like little sheets like this. Number one, I think it's really unhygienic to be stored over here like this. It came with like a twe pair of tweezers, but because these are like hydrogel, they are so slippery, it's almost impossible to use the tweezers to just pick it up without breaking it. You're supposed to use this somewhat like a skincare mask, like a sheet mask before you start your skincare or like before you start your makeup or whatever. The shape of it, number one, it's round, right? So I can only put two over here. And if I want to put any on the rest of my face, which honestly needs a little bit more help, I would need to cut the circle up into like a semicircle or a quadrant and that means I need to touch it even more which means it's gonna be a lot more unhygienic and dirty. It honestly didn't do much for my skin. I didn't even feel like it hydrated my skin. It just looked really gimmicky. It looks really hydrating but it's really not. I do not recommend it because I think it's really very meh. Yeah, very very disappointed. It was like almost 30,000 won, I think. It was not the cheapest. At Olive Young, I also got this. This is my Cos RX Acne Pimple Master Patch. One thing from Cos RX that I love to bits is the acne patches. I feel like they are so effective. One of the best acne patches that I've tried. Every single time I go to Korea, I stock up like five and sometimes Different Olive Youngs have different promotions, by the way. Like, especially when you go to Myeongdong or Hongdae, walk the whole line and go and check out the different stores first before you make your purchases because more often than not, you can find a discount happening somewhere. So this one, I always buy it when it's on a sale for 2,500 won, which is like about three bucks. There are 24 patches in there. When I have a pimple, especially those that have a hate that is forming, I will stick it on and go to bed and the next day it will be collected on the patch and once I peel it out, it will heal a lot, a lot faster. So this is really, really good and I highly recommend it. I bought myself two Lily Byrate eyeliners. You guys know I love the Lily Byrate eyeliners and I always run out of them so I always stock up in Seoul. This time I decided to buy a pen liner in the shade 02 and a gel liner in the shade 07. I love Lily by Raid because it's so affordable and likewise, they always have sales in Olive Young so do check them out. The next one is something really interesting because I decided to try these nail stickers from Dashing Diva. So they are called the Dashing Diva Magic Press. I got one for my toenails and one for my fingernails. Honestly, I love them and I think they're so brilliant because like the designs are really, really cute and nice and they're super easy to use. All you have to do is just stick them on your toenails and they're supposed to last for five to seven days. My nails are like really curved, so the sticker doesn't actually sit very, very well on top of it. So of course it comes in a generic shape for an average person 
this nail nail structure. Nail structure? I don't know. Of course, it's best for people with a flat and nice nail bed. If you have very curved nails like me, it will fall out like in two or three days. And it's gonna be really, really irritating. So it has like some sort of a tartan tweed design. And I got it for fall. And my toenails, I decided to get these really cute ones. They're so cute. The big toenails have designs, but these are the two designs that they come in. Till now, it's been four days and it's still lasting really well. So yeah, these were 9,800 won each. Not the cheapest, but it's much easier and cheaper than getting a manicure. Over at Daiso, this time for work, I went to Seoul to shoot something for Sheila Duty Free and I met the nicest makeup artist, Jade. If you're watching this, Jade! <laughs> she gave me lots and lots of tips and she was so friendly and nice about sharing like the products that she would use on her models. One thing that really caught my eye was this huge ass sponge that she was using on my face. This is how it looks like, okay? This is the Daiso sponge. Like, I was like, what are you using? my face look at the size of it like in order to just pat it it's like freaking you just need to do one time two time three time four time five times and you're covered and she was sharing with me it's from Daiso and I was like dude after this Cheryl let's go to Daiso straight away so we went to hunt it down it's 2000 won so it's like three dollars it's not that expensive but when it's not wet it looks like this so I got it in two colors it looks like a little eraser and when it's wet it grows up to like this. I personally do like it to touch up my makeup when I'm like out at shoe and my makeup tends to get a little bit cakey and it starts to lift off the skin. It's really nice to just like pat it in like this throughout the day. But when it comes to using it to apply your makeup, I find that this sponge actually absorbs a lot of foundation or a lot of concealer. So only use it if you have like a very, very, very full coverage foundation that you want to share out or thin out. Or one trick is to first apply it on your entire face first, then go in and blend. And that way, you can actually save a lot more foundation. For 2001, this is a really, 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 really good buy. And I think I really love it, like I said, to touch up. Next up, from Daiso, I decided to pick up this or so. This is like kind of bra insert. thought like it would be really nice, especially in swimwears and stuff. I've never tried it. It's unopened, so I don't know if it will actually stick when I swim. I have no idea. We shall find out. Another interesting I bought from Olive Young, my makeup artist in Seoul. She was using this portable, chargeable like hair straightener on me when we were out shooting in the Kwangjang market when there was no like PowerPoint. And she was like using this cordless hair straightener. So I was like really, really impressed. So I decided to just head down to Olive Young to look for something like this. I couldn't find the exact one. So I got this one from this brand called Unix. I'm sure most of you have seen it in Olive Young. So this one is the volume attachment one. And it says USB. So I thought it was USB chargeable. But turns out, it's kind of connected to a USB port and you still need to use it with a cord. But you can attach it to your portable charger in case you don't have a PowerPoint. It's still not as bad as having to attach it to a real wall mount socket. It looks like this. It's really tiny. It's a straightener with a volume attachment over here that allows you to do a little bit of a curl. But honestly, I think this sucks because it doesn't actually curl my hair very well. The only thing I can curl is probably my fringe. Even so, it just dies after one hour, so I highly do not recommend this. It's not cheap either, it's like 20,000 won. I do like the concept of it and I don't know whether or not it's like power difference or whatever over here that is making it like suck so bad. It just doesn't work. And I'm on a hunt again for a cordless chargeable USB hair tool. So leave it in the comments box down below if you have any to share with me. I will love you a lot greatly. Next up, I've got contact lens again. This time, I decided to go to Lens Town to buy some contact lenses. I decided to stock up on Idol Lens. I D O L. If you guys are not familiar, they are really really big on Instagram, and I once ordered it from online before and I paid like 45 USD for one pair which lasts for a year but still one pair 45 USD and when I was in Lenstown I saw that they were having a one for one it's 45 USD for two pairs so I was like oh my gosh I decided to try out these two colors nude brown 
and another one is called Kenna Rose uh, Olive Green. So I have not tried them, so I don't know how they look like. But if you watch my previous videos, I was most probably wearing the Idol lens in beige. I like it a lot and it's much cheaper in Korea. Accessories time. I bought quite a lot of accessories. So one of it is this one that I'm wearing over here. I got it for 1,000 won at the Myeongdong shopping street. The quality isn't great, but this is 1,000 won. That's like one US dollar. Super, super cheap. And I think it's a really good buy. Another pair of earrings from the Myeongdong uh, street market. These were also a thousand won. So you can just hook it like this. It's just very simple pearl earrings. Airy kind of effect. I also got this pair of earrings. I got this from Kara Sogil. This one wasn't the cheapest. I think I paid like 15,000, which is 15 USD for it. I just really like how statement it was. So I decided to get it. One of the trips I went was for my uh, Fenty Beauty event where I saw Rihanna. I forgot a lot of things before I went and on the day I touched down, I rushed to the Gangnam Underground Street to look for some accessories to go with my dress. One of them that I picked up was this beautiful like lunar stars and moon kind of choker. I got it for 12,000 won. I know it's not the cheapest and you can definitely get it from Taobao for much cheaper but uh, I was kind of desperate and in a hurry, so like this. I also bought another necklace and you guys will have probably seen me wear this in my Fenty Beauty uh, image that I'm going to insert over here. I love this. I also saw this on Taobao but I had to buy this because I was once again desperate for the outfit. 15,000 so that's 15 USD. Don't scold me but it's so nice. Like there are three layers of uh, pearls and it's just binded by this see-through fishing line and it just gives you that very very like airy kind of effect. There were also a few things that I bought that I didn't manage to bring it to the studio today because number one, I either finished them or number two, I forgot or number three, yeah, in a wash. One of it was the whole bunch of Etude House Ceramide face mask. This is my favourite face mask to buy and do go and look out for Etude House in Seoul, like they always have 10 plus 10, where you buy 10, you get 10 free. I also bought this white blazer that I love. I'm gonna insert a photo here as well. I have been wearing it over the past two trips when I went to Seoul. I love it so much. I got it at Hongdae for 30,000 won. And I think it's really hard to find a good linen like type of blazer that actually fits me because most of the time they're often too long or too big for me. One joke is that I actually left it in one hotel and the cab ride to get me to go to that hotel to retrieve it was 30,000 won. I spent 60,000 won on that blazer. But I think it's worth it. I, I think it's worth it. Another thing that I bought, this one is the Holika Holika Hard Cover Concealer that I bought. I was looking for a concealer and I was just walking into Holika Holika one day and this woman was just really bugging me. I think my pet peeve when I shop, especially in Korea, is like when someone literally tells you, like follows you, like breathing down your neck and just really watching like every single thing that you're doing in the shop. Like whatever I touched, she would say, that's a concealer. This is the eyeshadow. This is a lipstick. This is a rose colour lipstick. This is a red colour lipstick. And I was just like so mad at with her because I was just trying to shop in peace. And I hurried out with this because I was like, I'm here to look for a concealer, I'm just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna go. I didn't really put so much thought into it, but when I went back and really tested it out for myself, I do love it. I think it's very similar to the Cleo Kill Cover Concealer, just that this one is slightly less coverage, I would say. It's still really, really good and I highly recommend. Leave in the comments box down below if I'm not alone, like when it comes to being a little bit slightly irritated like when people just keep like not letting me shop in peace. I know that they are doing their jobs and sometimes it's to prevent like thefts or like you know people from damaging products and stuff but <sighs> Just a little bit more space. So I bought a few outfits. The first one I'm gonna talk about is this shirt from Fila. If you guys don't know, Fila is much cheaper in Seoul. So if you wanna buy any Fila shoes, caps, whatever, go to Seoul to buy it. They've got a really huge variety as well. This is like a muscle crop top of sorts. It's 12,000 won, super cheap, so I got it. Next up, I've got three other clothing items that I got from the Gangnam Underground shopping street. The first one is a tulip skirt like this. It's just a very gorgeous uh, tulip skirt that I got for only 10,000 won. 
This is really, really, really affordable. Another skirt that I got was this one. It's a tweed, kind of like a military button nude skirt as well. This is also a Scott. And lastly, I decided to get a Changman wall-ish top because they're really, really big in Korea right now. And this one was only 10,000 as well. Unfortunately, this one was a little bit big. I think I might not wear it that often, maybe in videos. I really, really love this. I just wish it fitted better. That is the end for my haul. Let me know in the comments box down below what are the things that you liked about my purchases, what are the things that you wish I bought, recommendations or anything. Because I love to talk to you guys and I love that we have such a nice community in the comments box down below as well. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.